This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell <laughs> Hey, sports to the bone family. I have to laugh at this one, and I have two stories that I want to share with you guys. Right? What a hot mess! What a hot mess! Sheffern Rutherford, the unfit Rutherford, he was just snapped up by the Sunrisers in the IPL. We are talking about the same Rutherford who was deemed unfit, the same Rutherford who is one of the leading runs getter in the CPL that is currently being played he was just snapped up and I am extremely happy for the young man this is an opportunity for him to go and you know to show his quality not only to show his quality but to earn some dollars for himself and his family yeah man yeah man my viewers and subscribers I am going to be giving you some more information as it pertains to that but the next story that we will look um, on further down in this video is the fact that TKR two-time defending champions they were dumped out of the CPL by the St. Lucia Kings yeah man so stick around for that one but we're gonna continue with the with the Rutherford thing right we know that the IPL you know they are actually on a break now but the second leg will get up and running running in short order so she, uh, Sheffrain Rutherford he will be joining the Sunrisers and he is going to be rep replacing um, Johnny Bearstone yeah man he will be replacing Johnny Be Bearstone and you know this is not even his first rodeo where the where the IPL is concerned I think he would have he would have um, played for the for the for the uh, I think the Mumbai Indians and the Delhi Capitals before but the mere fact that he had such a outst well not hard because it's still ongoing the mere fact that he, he had, that he has been playing so good in the 2021 staging of the CPL you know the IPL has come calling and I am extremely happy for the young man you understand now we can't we can't you see in the future if it is the case well let us say that he did make the team because he is unfit if this young man look at himself and say that boy he's fitter than other players that got, got the chance to go in you know and he's scoring more runs than those players in the future this man might not want to dedicate his career to West Indies cricket you know but <laughs> I, won't even, I won't even go there as yet you understand I, I was reading an article on the Guyana Times and Rutherford was talking you know and he was saying that he was pretty happy he was feeling good to know that his hard work you know is paying off and his hard work was actually recognized you understand and I am happy for him I, you, you can tell that I'm happy for the young man you understand to, to, to put in so much work and to get the results and then you know to, to be sidestepped like that you know it, it's, it's, it just goes to show show that these franchise owners they are really really into people that are performing you understand they would have they would have they would have taken a look at the young man look at what he's doing and say hear what we want people like this guy in our thing you understand and it is good it is good it is very good and they say karma karma is a hell of a thing you hear i tell you you see in the future you see when franchise cricket cricket um when franchise cricket uh treat our cricketers this way it, it might be very difficult for these same players to come and dedicate their careers to West Indies cricket you hear i tell you guys when franchise cricket are the owners of franchise cricket um, uh, uh, franchise teams treat our players like this treat them so good and reward them for their hard work it might be extremely difficult for these same youngsters when they become international sensations to turn around and turn their back on the franchise leagues so say for example West Indies might have a white ball series coming up in the future and the IPL is going on and they say alright Rutherford we want you to play for us you know we want you to represent the West Indies it might be a very very difficult decision for the young man because you know born and raised in the Caribbean he will want to represent his Caribbean people but also he will remember that when he put in the hard work in the CPL the Sunrisers they are the one that recognized his hard work 
I, I am not trying to build any animosity or anything, you know. I am just laying out the cards as they are. And just before I move on to the next story, my viewers, uh, I think so far he's scoring at an average of about 40. Yeah, man, he's scoring at an average of about 40.20 with 136 strike rate. Right? And when it comes on to six hitting, I think he's ranked maybe about fifth or sixth in this year's staging of the CPL. So, you know, the young man would have put in some amount of work. And it doesn't really matter what happens after this. You understand as it regards to the CPL, you know, the body of work that you would have you would have put in, in the earlier part um, stages of the of the competition, you know, it is being rewarded now. As a team, they haven't won anything. You understand? So it, it would be nice if he's able to, to sort of, you know, come good in the semi-finals and the finals if they make it um, that far. But so far, I want to tell you that I'm extremely proud of this young man. And usually, usually I, I, I always like to look at things, you know, from, from, from the player's perspective. You know, I don't just, I don't just say, all right, this man, this man, this man wasn't selected, let us move on. I, I, I like to look at the numbers and the numbers for this young man really, really stands, um, um, you know, head, head and shoulder above a lot of the others. You know, they say he wasn't fit, so tough luck, so, so be it. He wasn't fit, so he did make this, um, the West Indies T20 squad, but, you know, Sunrise pick him up and I am hoping that going over there, he will get a couple of games and he will perform and represent himself well. All right, the next big part. Of the video my viewers and subscribers subscribers tkr tkr the big bad tkr they were actually dumped out of the cpl yeah man the saint lucia kings of all persons they dumped them right out and believe it or not they did so without their their captain faf duplicy you know because he's suffering from an injury and the standing captain Andre Fletcher, he didn't even get much with the bat either. It was a youngster, Mark Dayal, that turned up and did extremely well. He got 78 of 44. Yeah, man, 78 of 44 is what he got to lead his team to a strong total, batting first of 205. Yeah, man, they got all the way up to 205 for four. You understand and that total it was it was just too much for the TKRs. They ended up getting 184 and they were actually bowled out. Yeah man, they were bowled out within 19.3 overs. So the Giants they were struck down by the St. Lucia Kings. And funny enough, you know, my viewers and subscribers, you see the TKRs they were actually going good, you know. They were going good. Narine, Narine got a start, you know. Uh, Monroe got a start, Pollard got a start, Bravo, Ramdin, all these guys got start, you know. Narine, he ended up getting 30, Pollard, Ramdin, and, and Bravo, they all got into the 20s, but they were just not able to push on. You understand, the bowling was outstanding, the bowling for the, for the St. Lucia Kings was extremely good. You understand, I think it was, it was David, uh, he picked up five wickets. You understand and one more person that I need to mention Rastan Chase he he did well also he got 30 of 21 and you know the way how he got out I must say that it was a bit disappointing to me you know um even though they ended up winning uh, I think he, he skied a he skied a ball and Akil Hussein dropped it you understand but the the, the, the following delivery he skied another one and 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 he got out Caught. I think Ramdin is the man that took that catch. You understand? So uh Rest and Chase still still putting up some runs, you know, getting 30 of um 30 of 21 deliveries still still a good innings by him. But yeah man my viewers and subscribers TKR out of the competition. So right now St. Lucia Kings they are there and we will have the, the, the Guyana Amazon Warriors going up against the um the, the St. Lucia sorry the, the the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. You know, so anyway, I take it we're gonna have an interesting um bow out when the competition comes to an end. But those are the two news that I wanted to bring to you guys. Rutherford, he will be in the IPL and uh TKR they are out of the CPL. So all of the big superstars, the Polar, the Bravos, 
all of them they are out just like all the the, 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 the superstars in the Talawas team they were not able to get them over the line that is it as I as I said at the beginning of the competition guys you know you might have good names going in but you know names and paper don't win the games you have to turn up and you have to put in the performance we're gonna leave this one right here for now sports to the bone keeping you informed guys please remember to like and share comment on the video and also drop a subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. I'm out. Big up on yourself.